This season, South County Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, and Top Flight Sports Academy present the season with Andrew Hill Football. Taylor Lambert joins us now, and this week a big chance for the team to get their first win, right? Yes, Robert. Andrew Hill High School has rallied around their football team this season, and this week the Falcons show their appreciation as the football team honors the Hill teachers, staff, and faculty. The season with Andrew Hill football is presented by South County Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little, save a lot. And Top Flight Sports Academy, where we elevate skills that take your game to the next level and beyond. Heavy machinery and men with hard hats blend with students and faculty at Andrew Hill High School as the campus is undergoing a renovation. The same can be said for the football team. Without a win on the season, the Falcons are mixing it up and revamping their offense. Just uh, looking at the tape and it was time to uh, try something different and see if we can make it a little easier. Um, so we started, I reverted back to an offense we've run here a while ago called the Veer. The Veer offense is a great way to use misdirection and get your athletes involved. It's a move which is partially forced in this case, as starting quarterback Eli Gonzalez is out this week with concussion symptoms. So running back James Bankston now slides over to quarterback. Um, he's played quarterback before, so he's had experience as playing quarterback. We saw a different level when you're playing varsity quarterback. It's like a lot more intense, and the guys are a lot bigger and faster. But I think he'll do pretty good. We try to take one to house for you. He should. With the changes, Coach Holt will rely on simple schemes to ease the transition. To make it easier on the guys, and the blocking schemes are easier, and so uh, we're hoping we can get some success out of it, and I think it suits um, the players we have. It really suits the quarterback because it's, it's like helps him with uh, running because he's so used to running the ball, so I think he'll do pretty good. While the squad on the field brings in a new scheme, Coach Holt and the football team are bringing back an old Andrew Hill tradition. It's a jersey swap, where players on the team choose one teacher or staff member who's made an impact on their lives and honors that person with their jersey for homecoming week. Hi, how are you? Good, dude. Good. I just want to know if you want to wear my jersey for the game. Of course. Thank you. So this is this is special. I'm glad you know, for his senior year he joined the team and he's taking full advantage of everything that we have to offer here at the campus, so hope he has a great game. I hope he remembers this for years to come. I gave my jersey to Miss Favela. When I was first in her class, she always, she's always so energetic. She like pours her heart into all her, uh, all her lessons. So I really loved her class. That's why I gave her my jersey. What's that, Thomas? This is the jersey that she's gonna wear. <laughs> yes, proudly. And then I'm gonna walk around with your signs and post it up in the stands. This means everything. I have a teacher wear my jersey. I have a teacher go out of her way to make this for me. Oh, it's my, I am totally honored that you would ask me to wear your jersey. And I'm super lucky to have you in class. I gave my jersey to Miss Tran. She helped me out last year to uh, improve my grades for me to um, play this year. I mean, we, we did kind of, you know, bond together and um, she really did help me out. I got you a bag of uh, He is very consistent. He tries to come in and uh, get extra help with his work, and I can tell that he really cares about trying to better himself. <laughs> I gave my jersey to my English teacher, Miss Parker. Why? Because she's just an amazing teacher. Even when I need her like outside of school, she's the person to go talk to. I mean, it just gives them a chance to let, let, let them know that you appreciate them and all the hard work they, that they, they put into teaching. On game day, teachers and staff wear the jerseys proudly. And it's a proud moment for both student and teacher. Not to mention, the boys on the field are playing well today. Offense! 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 Attention! How we doing? Huh? I need a drink. I need you ready to go. This is sucking it up. Uh, right? Seven sweep. Right? Seven sweep. Tell him. And then immediately following the big game, Andrew Hill scores its first touchdown of the day and has its first lead of the season thanks to new quarterback James Bankston and his running ability. There we go! There we go! Right. It's nerve breaking at first. Now I'm ready. The Falcons are fired up at halftime. 
Leading 6 nothing, the players can taste the win. Go deep. You're still in the zone. So if they cross, that's fine. Let them cross. We Say we won the game right now. All right, they got hard too. We got to be playing the same way we played the first half. Even 10 times more hard. Come on, I want that win. I want that feeling at the end. But in the second half, the Andrew Hill offense goes cold. Let's go. Evergreen puts just one touchdown on the board, but it's enough to win. 7-6, to six, final score. Yourselves up, hold your head up. Be, be proud of yourselves for the effort. We got to come out ready to work next week. Now another close one for the Falcons this week. That's two separate one-point losses in the last three episodes. Proof the Falcons are most definitely improving. It's just one or two plays can go the one play can go the other way, and, and they're winning you, those it's games. It's agonizing, and I have people coming up to me now oh, no. in the community that are watching. They're saying we're just dying we're for just these Andrew Hill win. guys to win. They'll get one. They, they've got chances. The improvement is there, and like we say every week, a great group of kids and coaches. So. All right, maybe next week.